Well, that looks like that's gonna suck. How's it going, Shooms? Armaline Hazard here. And welcome to Space Raid 2. <laughs> I am beyond ecstatic. In fact, special occasion here. As you can tell, I got a new outfit. Thanks to my wonderful artist here, uh, Tabula Rasa. Yep. I'm gonna just move it down slightly. There we go. Okay. Yes, that is I, the shark sister. Uh, I'm so happy. So like, if you're if you're new to the channel, we are gonna be doing this entire story, and we're gonna sprinkle it across the month of September, here and there. Till we are done i i will tell you this is not a blind playthrough <laughs> i streamed the entirety of the damn story this past friday it was so much fun and i said screw it let me do the entire game again for you wonderful people on youtube it's so cool i know it's so cool the graphics looks really good. Oh yeah, the the cutscene shit is crazy. Ah, their armors look so sick. Yep, this specific crew are called the Death Watch. They're a special anti-Xeno group. Um, and any any chapter can be part of the Death Watch. Ah uh, yes, the iconic chain sword. I am confused why would they open the goddamn thing. I understand they were gonna drop in, but really? There's flying bug monsters. Incoming! Yeah. That's unfortunate. Now. A regular man would have died, but not us. Man, this dude straight face planted into the earth. Yep. God, I'm so cool looking. Okay, like I don't like the cape though. Cape seems a little too much. What are we, a hell diver? Right. Now we're better. Yeah, I said it. We're a war diver. Oh my god, I saw that post. This is the extent of the monster's horde. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Tyranids are no joke. Can you shoot into that horde? Uh, I don't have a gun right now. What's even crazier is that Tyranids can straight up block communications. They have a thing called Shadow in the Warp. So like psychers can be like blocked out. It's actually wild. Anywho, we one three already just drenched. I'm up to my elbows in these wretched ports. Any word from Brother Darius or the commander? Nothing. It is left to us to share the glory now, Kelstros. Who'd have thought? <laughs> You ever just want to like be surrounded by enemies and a stomp destroys them? I don't know about you, but that's awesome. Bonk. Oof. Oh, it's a big one. Yes, I have a dodge and we can lock on. The red dodge blue parry. And execute. 
Uh, uh, just taking so many blood baths. Can't do that as a hell diver. I was so disappointed. Yeah, well. I I was so happy with the first game. Like, I'm part of me sad that we don't get to fight orcs again. But man, Tyranids were a great choice as an enemy type. Well, I don't know if uh, their if their road plan was anything to go by. We might see the orcs come back in some form or fashion later Who down knows? the road. Who knows? Yeah, no, the year one roadmap is already insane. Like they've already promised like it's potentially four new enemies. Ooh, bolt pistol. This bolter will roar in your name, Dallas. I swear on it. Come for me. And Is anyone out there who uh doesn't know the exact power of a bolt pistol or a bolter? 75 caliber. I'm not even kidding. I don't know how big a 75 caliber is. Well, it's bigger than a 50. That's for sure. You mean a Barrett sniper rifle? Yes. Damn. Yeah. So those bullets that come out of those snipers, the bullets that come out of these bolters, bigger. And when you get to the heavy bolter, it is considered a 1.0 caliber. That sounds deadly. It's like almost like anti air rounds. <laughs> like, ah, yes, let me fire these AA rounds into this into this small God damn. Just like threw him into the ground at mock Jesus. Mock Jesus? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Mock Emperor. Shut up. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Two, three, bonk. Bitch. You think you can run away? I don't think so. Ooh. Be getting something out of my dog's mouth. <laughs> like drop it, drop it. You have honored. Rest well, brother. Interesting. Alpha, Kelstras, if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Headed to the orbital launcher. Is that as hard as you bite, Sinos? Come on! Damn. Death will not go and die. Mm, turn into bits. Come to your death, our Zenos. You horrid bitch. And we're just gonna. Ugh. <laughs> Tyranids have breached the perimeter. Alpha. Anyone? Is the bomb on route? Hang on, Kelstros. All right, you big sons of bitches. I'm like, swear I'm hitting block. Oh, 
It was mid animation for that. Oh no. That's fine, it's fine. Well, it'll be fine. Just the prologue. Yeah, I don't think your buddy's gonna make it out. You have served your emperor well, brother. Okay, so yeah. So the first guy, so like I said, anyone can be in part of Death Watch. The first guy was a Black Templar. This guy was a Blood Angel. Interesting. I have the virus bomb. Moving to the orbital launcher. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse over tyranny positions. Remember how I said the 75 caliber? Yeah, yeah. it's 75 caliber automatic. Oh, the recoil on that has got to be insane. I mean, it doesn't exist for a space marine. True. I think I've, I've heard, uh, what is it, that normal person, unless they have training, if they tried to fire it, it shatters our arm. Yep. Ooh, you cheeky little bitch. That's fine. Point of view, you're the chef in your kitchen trying to get rid of all the rats. Oh my god. The virus is our one chance to delay the Tyranid invasion. The virus will spread through their forces. They will adapt, but it will slow them down. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. If nothing else matters. Yeah, that's the kind of the fucked up bit. Is this virus will work? But not effectively. It'll only slow it down. That's how crazy the Tyranids are, because they can adapt to anything. In a sense, they're sort of like, um, they're sort of like mosquitoes. Yep. Me with my girlfriend, Rhea. Yeah, I said it right down. Ho 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 ho. Ah, they're so annoying. They're like mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all bugs are annoying. You know it's really terrifying looking. What? Can you not hasten the damn process? Yes. Oh god. Oh yeah. See, this is I I hate saying this again from this awesome cuts uh what we're doing here, but I feel like this is what Helldiver should have been like. Or at least when it comes to the bugs. Holy just keep coming. Shit. Oh, and then it gets worse. Hold on. Oh my god. Yeah. What the fuck? Can you not, like, just. Can you not shoot some of them? Well, I can. It doesn't really matter. They keep coming.
Oh god. This is what I would imagine a last stand would look like. If you weren't a space marine. Because it's like, ain't no way a guardsman is going to last as long as a space marine would in this situation. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Grab these real quick. See you later, fuckers. It is done. Good shit. So you said a, a last stand, right? Well, I had to tell you, with his entire crew gone, what is he about to do? Where is he going? Oh my God. Come on, you sons of bitches. Ah. Right, uh, get up. And guess what? It's Titus all along, baby! Hell yeah. I'm not gonna Wait, lie. I, I know about the first game a little bit. I kind of thought they imprisoned him for life. Nah, like part of his imprisonment was he was forced to be on the death watch. Um, Because it's it's almost like pretty much a death sentence because they're anti-Xeno, but they're also like a ha 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 suicide squad. Um, uh. But they also tortured him. Yeah, but yeah, when I when I when I first played this on on the stream, I literally was like, oh, wait, like, what? Why are we playing as this Death Watch guy? I mean, he's pretty fucking cool. Like, this is probably like a prologue to the whole thing. Um, hope he gets out like right. And it's like, oh, man, he's probably going to die, but like he'll win. Uh, and then he takes the helmet off, and I'm like, wait, why is it Titus? Wait a minute, what? I was super fucking happy that it was Titus. Come on, you overgrown bugs. I'm going to send you to God. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, stab a drone sword. What are those things on the ground? A uh, little just squirmy parasites. I don't know. Yeah, they're creepy looking. You can't really do much about them, but. They remind me of the. Uh... If you were going to say what I was thinking, you were going to say the krill. Yeah, they remind me of the krill from. Oh, Girl hey. Boy. Here's a Carnifex. Oh, there's a big boy. Now, one of many. I s oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. Oh, what the fuck? He's got a, like a whole porcupine. It. All right, you big son of a bitch, bring it on. You're supposed to lose this fight. Oh, that's sad. Bit in his face. Oh, that can't feel good.
saved by backup. Let's go. <laughs> Space Marine 2, baby. Sucks. Oh, hey, Chaplain. Praise the Emperor. Mm. Holy shit. What is what is up with his body? Oh, uh, that's normal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you. Titus, accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once. Oh, yeah, keep in mind, uh, yeah, Space Marines can live to be like hundreds of years old. Never no redemption until you have faced the judgment. So, literally, from the first game to this one, it's been a hundred years. And no yep. Absolution. What is your life? And yeah, the reason there's so many plugs is just so they can like do stuff and augment you. So you can be a space marine. That's so freaky. My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. So freaking cool. Jesus Christ. The Rubicon surgery has remade you as a Primaris Marine. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an Ultramarine once more. Your brother you are stronger, you faster, and we also much. gave you a bigger but set of balls. <laughs> as a, black shield has been a bigger set of balls, huh? Lives. Should it be discovered, it. there would be questions. Lord Kelgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. All right, let's do this. What's that chain on his arm? Oh, uh, it's it's meant to be served as like a, a sign of shame, a penance. Lieutenant Titus reporting for duty. Have Sergeant Gadriel report. Even worse, because he's freaking demoted from captain to fucking lieutenant. How are your wins? Good enough. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions, suspicions. I cannot afford discord among the men. Not now. You're a lieutenant now. 
Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Very well. We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets. Avarax, a hive world, and Kadaku, which you already know. We're abandoning the latter. It's mostly Adeptus Mechanicus research facilities. We're evacuating critical assets and personnel. These defense guns are keeping the skies clear for our ships. For now. Tyranids have taken note. Get down there and protect those guns. Captain, you wish to see me. Sergeant, this is Lieutenant Titus. That's actually really, really terrifying. So, I mean, Tyranids I by themselves the are freaking terrifying. Tyranids. But their the ships... Place. Yes, they have ships. Their ships are just... Ship-sized Tyranids. Yeah, like, aren't, like, uh, they're sort of, like, organic, uh, flying ships, right? Lieutenant. Yeah. Forgive my hesitation. It's fucking weird. I'm really surprised by this development. As am I. Hello, Chiron. Sergeant Gadriel, the absorber is ready to depart. Brother Chiron. This Chiron. Is Lieutenant Titus. He will be leading our squad. Is that so? Well, I shall be glad to have a commander of such experience. Is the rest of the squad ready? Already assembled on the flight deck. Good. We leave immediately. Let's go. Actually, one thing I find very funny and interesting. The thing on our back is a refrigerator. Right? Yeah, so allow me to explain. It's not a refrigerator in the sense you store shit in it. It's a refrigerator in the sense it cools you down. Because look at all this goddamn armor. They have this thing attached to them so they can be cooled down in the middle of, like, working. It's kind of like how furries will have fans in their fursuits. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Brothers Lirio, Alterius, and Elliot make up the rest of our squad. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. Much, very much. Sergeant? Brothers, we are joined by Lieutenant Titus. Welcome, brother. We are yours to command. We leave immediately. Yes, Lieutenant. Let's do this. So, normally I would say, like, oh, if it's long enough, we might do a mission per video. But I think for this this bit we're gonna do the prolong and then this one and then depending if they are long enough we might do a mission per video i mean considering how from what i've just seen there's a mission and then a lot of talking yeah i'm pretty sure we should be good yeah so we're gonna do this mission and then we're gonna wrap this episode up also i find it funny how when you started this mission it's you, the two named people, and then the three other uh, dudes who joined you. But I feel like at the end of this mission, only the three of you who don't have helmets on are the only three that matter. So you say that. Um, those three stay alive, for the record, before, before you get any of the spoilers, I guess. But um, so, the uh, those three are technically the characters quote unquote you play during the operations mode oh so they're they're kind of meant to serve as like a uh, the ba like backup backup and uh background character yeah. it's it's so it, it's sort of like how when i found out that the two elites you can play as in the multiplayer of the halo campaign mm -hmm. they actually have names and backgrounds like they're not just two random elites they throw in to uh, server side, Master Chief and Arbiter. Years old. He could have been born a Primaris. Mm. You're right. And now he has your command. You're gonna cause problems, you fuck. We'll see.
Let's go. The Boy Scouts are here. Major Sarkana, 8th Cadian Regiment. Major, give me an update. The wretched beasts have taken the orbital guns. They pushed us back to this encampment and are staging a heavy assault. Lirio, take Altarius and Elion and remain here to secure the encampment. Yes, brother. Major, we must reach the defense guns. Yes, my lord. Follow me. Ah, the Cadians. Isn't, isn't there a quote? Uh, isn't there a quote saying like uh, the planet Cadia fell before the guard did? Yep. Cadians are probably considered the best in the Astra Militarum. Put it in perspective for those of you who are watching this video and aren't 40k uh, um, hardcore 40k fans, that's like saying Space Marines are the Spartans, Cadians are like your ODSTs. That's that's actually a good um, comparison, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, all of the all of the Imperial Guard are great, but the Cadians have been like renowned as like the best ones. All right, we got some baddies. Oh, that was a satisfying crunch. Yeah, one little one little weird thing, like minute detail I love about this, and it makes sense. When you get overrun by enemies, some of these boys will die sadly, but then they immediately get replaced by other characters that come out of nowhere. And it just goes to show you the sheer number of goddamn military men that are part that make up the guard. Because literally they are untold billions. I wonder if it's possible to actually get for a mission that has Garzman on it without losing or I mean you, you're gonna lose some obviously but one of it's possible to get through while keeping some of them actually alive today uh who knows and you're dead Not even. <laughs> <laughs> like catching a beer on pure instinct. Like think fast. Oh, you thought fast, though. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, it's so satisfying to hear. God dang, who's got the cheese? Because these rats are coming out of nowhere. Who's got the what? Cheese. What? Rats what? eat cheese, right? Oh, rats. What'd you think I said? Raptors. I mean, to be fair, when I was a lot younger and I had seen Tyranids, um, in passing, I kind of thought I used to think of them as like space dinosaurs. That's fair. Well, I mean, because I uh, I'd seen the, I'd seen their models, but I no one ever explained to me what 40k was at the time. So I I, I saw my friends who had their um, little minis painted. I was like, oh, these are so cool. They're like little tiny space dinosaurs. Uh yeah, what a good airstrike. The Emperor protects. We must proceed through the 
jungle to reach the orbital defense guns. Brother Lirio, assist the Cadians while they establish new defensive lines, then report back. Yes, Lieutenant. It will not take long. Will it? Will it not? But I think we're actually gonna take a little break here. Um, I did say that we'd probably do this whole thing and then wrap the episode up here. But I'm gonna try to keep these videos not too short, but around like probably between 30 and 40 minutes. Who knows? Um, so we're gonna continue on with this mission uh, in the next episode. I'm super excited to bring Space Marine to to you all. Uh, we are gonna also do the operations in the future uh once we're done with the story there's gonna be so much content we're gonna be making off this um this is i i'm so excited <laughs> so um, we could probably we could probably call this uh instead of september we 40k timber this <laughs> is fucking uh yeah, yeah 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 um but I want to thank y'all for stopping by. Of course, our links to the descriptions will be down below. Fuck. I screwed that up. I want to thank y'all for stopping by. Links uh, to our socials will be in the description down below. So definitely check that out. And a link to the Ko-Fi and its shop. And of course, a link to the merch store. So check it all out if you want to support the channel in that way as well. And of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's free and easy to do, so you might as well do it. Um, we'll get more of these out. Like I said, we're going to spread these out through all of September. Um, and I'll thank y'all one more time for stopping by. Spread the word, spread the love. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. Later.